We are told that the Earth is a sphere with a radius of 3,959 miles. Using this value, we can calculate the overall circumference, as well as the rate of geometric curvature decline relative to a standing observer. The commonly used formula for surface decline is 8 inches times the distance in miles squared. Over 10 miles, the chart looks like this. Using these measurements, we can establish physical markers to scale over the surface of water on the mile. The expected rate of decline is marked in the inverse. On a sphere, the point markers deliver a tangent to the curved surface established from the middle position. On a plane, the surface of the water is tangent to the inverted curvature of the globe math. The position markers reveal a slow curve that touches the water in the middle. Based on observations such as this one, viewing 8 miles on a frozen lake, and this laser test at 21 miles, it can be seen that the following viewing ranges are practical. Mark a central location to the waterway to assign as the zero point. Travel away from the center, marking each mile with a vertical post. The top of each post should be set at the height of the expected to climb relative to the original position. The fifth mile is marked with a post that rises 16.67 feet from the surface of the water. The posts must form a perfectly straight line when seen from above. The resulting series of markers can be viewed, photographed and video recorded from many angles and distances. Viewing from either end is a priority observation. More geomarkers can be added at the half mile and then at quarter mile intervals. Under incredible circumstances, where funding is plentiful, the position markers could be connected with a cable system, which could potentially be lit with LED lights. I've discussed these ideas in some more detail in a free PDF available at postgalactic.com. Thank you.